Well, hello everyone. So we got a solar storm heading our way. This is an X-class flare. You need to pay attention to this and you need to have a few basic things in your house to help protect your electronics, mainly cell phones and laptop computers. So I'm going to show you how to build your own Faraday cage. Now you can go and get yourself a metal trash can just like I have here. Now you can see that as I go into the inside it has been taped and I took some of this off for demonstration purposes and as you can see there is a clear distinct barrier between and it's not necessary that you have this tape I just did this but as you can see it's lined with cardboard and the bottom is as well now I'll go over here here is the top of it and the top of it is as well okay so now you can see that all right I have a little thing here of batteries just to show you good idea to have some extra batteries now I put copper in between there you don't have to but it's like another barrier any type of conductive wire will work I recommend as well that you wrap everything in aluminum foil have that in there as well I also have and I will be doing this this evening I think it's always good I just like to wrap um, my electronics in bubble wrap so as you can see once you have the Faraday cage built keep your aluminum foil you, you can actually they recommend that you wrap your electronics in there all right and then you would then put everything in the bottom and make sure that it can touch the cardboard it's fine just make sure that this cardboard is completely enclosed and protects it from the metal out here and then all you have to do is put your batteries in there again wrap it in aluminum foil then take your lid and seal it and that's all you need to do for your do-it-yourself Faraday cage it's real easy real simple and it takes no time at all and you'll be appreciative if there should be such an event that would uh, impact the grid uh, electric magnetic pulse your electronics will be working when everyone else's won't all right remember ounce of prevention far better than a pound of pain all right be kind to one another